today from Nissan Stadium in Nashville, Tennessee. This is Madden Football on EA Sports. It's the home team taking on the Sacramento Condors. Being located in the Music City, this building has hosted a lot of great music acts since its inception. But this is what she was made for, NFL football. And that's what we have today in Nashville at Nissan Stadium. Coming up, we've got a good matchup on tap between the Sacramento Condors and our home team. Taken in at the three. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. They'll come out throwing here on first down. Flush to his right. He'll have a first down past the 40. And all the way up to the 46. Well, that was man coverage. So once he decides to run with the football, there's no one to account for him, and he turns it into a nice gain. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. Looks like he's going to get a couple here on this first down carry, and that'll make it second and eight. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. And he will not make it back to the line of scrimmage as he's going to be taken down. Well, we've seen how this quarterback can beat you with his legs. Saw it earlier on this drive, as a matter of fact. But that time, they had him covered. They really gave him no place to escape because oftentimes they're able to find a crack, a sliver, anything that can get them upfield. On that occasion, nothing open at all, and they swarmed him. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. That was a good effort there, trying to do it on his own, but as a defender, you're in a tough spot because you have coverage responsibilities behind you, and if you take off too quick to try and get him down, he might loft it over your head. So better to track with your man defensively than try to go up and make a stop on the quarterback. Exactly right. What you're hoping is that your guys in the front seven can get him down. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. Thought they might throw the football with a little chunk that they had remaining on fourth down, but they ran it. They got it. And the reason they were able to get it done, he ran that play with conviction, didn't he? Understood he would get a little bit of help from his friends up front, but it was really on him to go ahead and make the power move and get it done, and that he did. Give him nine there on the first down completion. On second down, Durham. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. Well, I think that's what they're going to need to do here in the first half. You've got to take some pressure off of this young quarterback, and no better way to do it than to establish the running game early. We're scoreless after one. Sacramento with the football here as we get set to begin quarter two as they've got it with a first and ten. So the false start will back them up five. False start offense. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. A false start backs him up five, first and 15. And to give this time to the tailback. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. Call it a gain of 12. 
but of course not a first down due to the previous penalty. The impressive opening drive continues and just space being created by those guys up front. We're seeing this the same way, aren't we? We are seeing an offensive line as this game gets started, as it starts to unfold, that they are dominating the line of scrimmage. All in all, no gain on the play, and it'll bring up third. Well, the defensive guys won't be real happy because there won't be a sack on this play because he did get back to the line of scrimmage. But what a job they did overall. Hemmed him in and gave him nowhere to go with the football. On third down, Durham. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 16. I think you mentioned in the opening drive that these guys needed to establish the run, protect the young QB. I actually wrote that down, believe it or not. So how would you assess things so far? I'm kind of touched that you actually wrote something like that down. <laughs> I appreciate that, partner. But I do think they've been able to do that. Maybe not as effectively as they wanted to, but I think we'll see more of as this game goes along because they want to continue to take care of that young QB. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. They'll look to throw here. Over the middle complete, it's Pierce. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. And oftentimes we think about statement drives in the second halves of games, especially in the fourth quarter. But here, it's happening early, a definite statement. They've held on to the ball for a healthy portion this first quarter already. And now after that completion, they're set up first and goal. And this ball incomplete. Uh, looked very much to be a catchable ball and could not hang on. Second down coming up. And it's intercepted at the goal line. A great read, and it's picked off. He's at the 50, the 30, 10, and he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Well, we talked pregame about how we might have some twists and turns in this one, but how about this on the opening drive? Well, they had a pretty good drive working, didn't they? So you wouldn't expect this ending because what you were thinking was they were going to put it in the end zone themselves, not have it go the other direction. Now comes the kicking team here for the extra point. It's good to make it seven to nothing. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. This will be fielded inside the five. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. This offense back to work now late in this first half. And with just under a minute to go, they might try to think about mounting a drive here if they can and get in the end zone. Could potentially tie this game up. Escaping the pressure right. And that went a little too high as it's knocked away and incomplete. It certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. He's going to rifle one deep left side. A fight for the football, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 38, and he'll return this one just shy of midfield to the 49. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. And a glance here at their quarterback standing six foot three. On first and ten, Mason. It's caught, Mitchell. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. Throwing on first down, Mason. There he goes, right side. Pass the 20. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Well, dare I say it, it's kind of quid pro quo. Both defenses now with an interception return for a touchdown. Your vocabulary, sir, well done. The call is to go for one and kick the extra point. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. 
So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. Taken at the goal line. And he'll be out of bounds here just past the 20-yard line. One final go for this offense here in this first half. And we'll see how they want to play this. Just a little over 20 seconds to go. A little over 20 seconds remaining in the half as they'll line up here first and 10. Throwing after the interception. Mason. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before he's out of bounds. A good pick up there, eight yards on the first down completion. Throwing the out route incomplete, it's Bennett. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Back to throw, Mason. Looking deep for Bannon. And a dangerous throw there as that's knocked down and incomplete. Certainly no lack of aggressiveness here. They were hoping for the home run play to get them six points. They're hoping for a catch, maybe a call. But they figure they can at least get into field goal range with a completion. He's going to go deep for Conley. And this is caught right along the sideline. What a job of keeping the toes in bounds there. So a touchdown apiece. That's what we have to show at halftime as they head to the locker room. 7-7 seven, seven our score. As we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports halftime report. Coach, set and ready to go for the second half. One touchdown apiece. 7-7 seven, seven our score. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line. So the same result had he opted for the touchback. And this offense set to go now to begin the third quarter. It's a tie football game here. What do you think, Charles, the message was at halftime? Well, I think that they probably just looked at things and said, we're fortunate that this is a tie game. No need to panic. No need to change a whole lot. We didn't play anything close to our best in the first half, so we don't have to go out and win one for the Gipper. Let's just go out and play our best football and win one for us. Off play action. Mason. Pressure comes and down he goes. The corner blitz gets there as he goes down for a loss of seven. We are seeing two really confident defenses imposing their will on these offenses in this game. Yeah, absolutely. Going toe for toe. Just curious if one of these offenses can wake up a little bit. Is there any way they can find something that can pop, something big to knock them back on their heels? On third down, Mason. He gets it to Gurley, complete. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. And this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Looking to throw. Mason. He's got the hook up with Conley. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Ahead of the chance now, second and two. Back to the ground game here, Gurley. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. But they're getting ready to go to work now in prime real estate after that last run. Found his spot and picked up nice yardage, didn't he? And now he's got him knocking on the door of the red zone. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. 
Gurley again here on first down. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. At well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to huddle and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. On first down, Mason. This will be caught at about the six. And he'll be out of bounds after a short pickup as that's going to take us to the two-minute warning. Five yards on the catch there brings up second down. Now a handoff for Gurley. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. Now what's the thinking here? Because a touchdown would be nice, but you've ensured yourself a chance at three in the lead. So how worried are you about the six and he gets in touchdown Atlanta taking it in from two yards out and his guys have taken the lead so it was the passing game that got him down here but closer to the goal line it's the running game that gets him home it certainly appears that they lulled the defense into thinking that the passing game was going to be it the entire drive nice change up there going to the running game to get him over the goal line Important extra point up and through, and that makes the score 14 to 7. Taking it about the one. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. To this point, the results have not been good. Two possessions, two turnovers. And that's obviously something that can't continue, but to go a little bit deeper on that one, I would think about some play calls now, not even necessarily to my best player, but to someone I can trust with the ball. Try and get the... And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. Picked off around the 41, and his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. <laughs> We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. 44 yards rushing for him now to this point. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. So plenty of smiles for the folks here as they head for the exits. It's a victory for their hometown guys. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last point of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better whatever it was it all came together in the second half and no points were allowed that's a great way to close them out So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. With that, we sign off from Nashville.